it's not, it makes me feel bad. I feel good because I connect, but then I don't want to drag someone else into this, this whole horrible cycle of all this, this rubbish and this, this horrible core belief and it's, you can feel like you're sort of like a drug dealer trying to like edge people into the dark side when you're trying to connect with people and it can be a very confusing thing to do. Hello Aru, welcome back to another video by me, Thomas Henley, the non-racist, because I've just realized that this may be taken to be a bit racist, so I'm changing my voice. I'm not racist. I love all... I hate everybody equally. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to another video, and today we're talking about nihilism again. Oh, bloody hell, that subject again, what is he doing? Ranting about this weird concept, weird thing. He should be put in a mental asylum and beaten with some electric sticks off Star Wars, or cut into his brain and lobotomized with an ice pick, or, you know, like, get him off the air. Today I am talking about emotional connection and the effects being a nihilist can have on those kind of things. I just want to let you know at the start, this is not a, a good thing in terms of connection. It can be in terms of connection, but I'm, the thing that I'm going to talk about mostly is my difficulty with connecting with people as a nihilist. So an important part of being human is emotionally connecting with people, telling you people what they what you think on the inside, what you truly think on the inside, and having this belief and this um, this core belief can interfere with a lot of your ability to effectively like emotionally communicate with people without completely bumming them out or annoying them or thinking you know there's you're being silly or there are all possibilities in this situation when you're trying to socialise with people. The important thing to mention here is that because my thought, my nihilism is such a, a, a minority and is such a very strange subject, it kind of puts itself in a little category of don't talk about it um, in a lot of people's minds. Um, people don't want to think about it for, for a good reason. And I spend a lot of my time not trying not to talk about it in a lot of cases and filtering what I say so that I don't come across in that nihilistic way of thinking. The reason for that is not because I'm scared of what they'll think, it's just because I've, I've had a lot of experiences in my past where I have been confessing to people my thoughts on things and it's either ruined the mood, um, stop them from really wanting to connect with me any further because, you know, it's the whole negativity thing and it's very, it's very sad for me. It's one of the worst things about it for me personally, bar all of the existential crisis and all that kind of things as a established positive nihilist, it's really difficult and I, I emotional connection is a really big thing for me. If I can't feel like I'm emotionally connected to people and people understand me, it can have a lot of negative effects on my mental health and there are a lot of benefits to be able to connect with somebody and feel like people are taking you seriously and it's just something that's really hard to do when you've got this belief. So instead of rambling on about random stuff, I'm going to give you a few examples of times where I tried to emotionally connect with somebody and it's um, it's not ended badly but it's, it's not ended in a great way. So this happened when I was travelling with my friend, my friend Ben. We were meeting up with um, a couple of girls that were doing a Cambodia um, dentist thingy and and basically we just met up because I knew one of them from one of the running groups I went to and she, we, we know each other quite a lot. So we met up and travelled for a bit around, not Cambodia, it was, it was uh, Vietnam. Yeah, Vietnam, yeah. Sorry, I completely lost the plot there. <laughs> but anyway, um, we had a, a night of mild drinking at one of these places, play some card games and stuff. So it's, it's kind of a, 
travelly place. It was it was very like dim lighting. It was all like mood lighting, red, blue, greens, and it was there was a little bit of background music, but not enough that you couldn't talk. So we were playing a lot of games. We were playing like um, Twenty One, and uh, I'm trying to think of some games off the, the top of my head, but I can't. And it was really fun. It was really going really good. One of the friends, the friend of the the girl that I knew from the, the ring society, went to went back. She was feeling uh, tired or something like that. So me, Ben, and this other this other girl, we went went up into this other place, which was a bit more chilled. It was sort of like a, if you imagine, sort of an Indian Persian style chill out room, which just had like little strings coming down with big balls of like um, stringed together wood or something and a light in the middle and it was it was really really nice and it was air and you could sit on the cushions and lay down and stuff so obviously I laid down because it's nice and comfy nice comfy cushions so we ordered a drink just to like make sure that we didn't get kicked out we had a few drinks and I'm trying to think of the moment where that the, it came onto this topic uh, but I was, I think we were talking about something to do with my depression at some point. Um, maybe something to do with my YouTube channel. So we were talking a little bit about it. And then I mentioned something about my core beliefs. At this moment, Ben has heard a lot about it. So he knows very strongly my beliefs on these kind of things. And he's probably heard enough of it, to be honest. And we, we were talking about it. And it was, it was a very good uh, adult, like conversation I was explaining my beliefs and um, the thing is is that because I thought about it so much I'm very very well equipped to have these types of conversations which people usually don't think about these these kind of things so I was trying my, my, my very best to stop you know answering back to certain statements well what about your your family and your emotional connection and love and happiness and all those sad things and I'd, I'd respond to those emotional things as part of our biological makeup it's just hormones and neurotransmitters that are shifting according to our environment and it doesn't mean anything it only, it only means anything if you believe that it does and that was my whole take on the whole thing and I, I had these back and forth remarks and as, uh, the more I did it, I felt like I was being very intense and intrusive and I was just, I was debating, but I was, I was trying my best to, you know, keep it less intense, but it just, it, it was having none of it. I was, it was definitely like escalating the bad moods in the atmosphere and it wasn't, it wasn't particularly pleasant for me either because obviously when someone has such wide widely different views to yourself and they don't understand it can be very feel very isolating and feel like you're the odd one in the group or you know it's the kind of the guy that you just need to avoid in order to have a good time kind of thing and um i felt like that on very feel like that on a lot of occasions it's been it's very hard it's been, increasingly when it's someone that you love it's very hard to know at what point to tell people about these things and there are just some people in the world that just want to ignore it and they don't want to speak about it. And they don't, they don't, they don't want to think about it. And that can be quite hard. Because when, when there's something that you know that's very core, like important to you, you want to be able to express it and be understood and feel validated. Uh, a lot of people are talking about validation being like bad, but like, you need emotional validation. That's that's what that's why we emotionally connect because we want to find a you know a crossover in our understandings and crossover in our emotions. So that way, validation is okay. Just to clarify that, I've heard some comments before like, "Oh, you shouldn't seek validation in anybody," but it's not in terms of what you're doing. It's more in terms of how you're feeling and wanting to connect with people, and it can be very difficult. So 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 goddamn difficult really difficult the problem is is that the only way that you can connect with somebody who isn't a nihilist in that sort of fashion is to make them shift more to your views and um, not make them it's that's a very like manipulative sounding thing but it's it's more 
because my thought about it so much, I'm very good at arguing my point and people can't really get a word in edgeways because I just, I, I know it so much and I know my beliefs so much that I'm very passionate about it. And when, when that happens, it's not, it makes me feel bad. I feel good because I connect, but then I don't want to drag someone else into this, this whole horrible cycle of all this, this rubbish and this, this horrible core belief. And it's, you can feel like you're sort of like a drug dealer trying to like edge people into the dark side when you're trying to connect with people. And it can be a very confusing thing to do, especially with your loved ones who you don't want to make them feel bad. You don't want them to feel like there is no meaning and pull them into some depression or something or some addiction use because of you or they've gone off and researched because of you and that's caused them to develop the same sort of beliefs as you and it's, it's, it's an ongoing thought of mine when I'm talking about these things and sometimes it's just easier to avoid the whole topic and you know it's hard you want to relate to someone you don't want to make them depressed and horrible so it's it's one of the difficulties of being a nihilist and yeah i hope i hope you like my little story i'm going to try and add in some more stories in the, in the future maybe add a bit of you know mush to it is mush the right word it's probably not mush is a bad word isn't it some more bulk to do the style of the videos, it's good to have a little story in, isn't it? Just to give you an insight into the personal life. It's all good me saying, this happened, this happened, and so something else happened that made me feel like that, but your real world examples are, I think, are good. And I'm, I'm going to try and work on my storytelling skills so that I can give you a glimpse into me and myself and my beliefs and a bit more easily. I hope you liked the video. I love you guys, as I say in every video, because I'm a soppy little Tommy teddy bear. I'm not a teddy bear, I'm a big man. Don't you ever call me that, I'll punch you in the gabba. I'll punch you in the gabba. <laughs> Appreciate you guys. You always listen to me, or maybe you don't. Maybe you watch a little bit and then skip off. I don't know, but if you are listening to all of it, Thank you. Tell me that you are. Tell me that you tell me your thoughts on it and you know, connect kind of thing. I like doing that. It's, it's a very important thing to me. Especially now that we're such a small channel in comparison to what we could be. It's, it's nice to just talk to you guys and get you, your feelings and just like, I, uh, I've had a lot of people who have commented on my videos a lot and I know who you are and like I, 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 whenever I see your name, I can, I can know the profile picture and I know the person, and I've got a little, you know, thing going with that, and it's, it's really nice for me. I, I, I know who you are, and <laughs> it can be really weird, like someone knowing who you are who's you watching on a video, so it's like I know you, I can see you looking at me. <laughs> but yeah, um, I really appreciate it, and to anybody else who's is watching who's new. Um, get involved, get involved in the community, start, start watching some more videos, inputting, talking to other people, giving your own opinions and stuff, I, I, I encourage it. If you want to give me negative opinions, I still encourage that as well. If you think that I'm being a silly old sausage, let me know. And if you think that I need to be focusing more on topics that are not going to pull people into the depths of hell and strangulate the inner morals and beliefs in the world until they're nothing but cold mush on the floor. See, I plugged that mush in again. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.